Welcome to Embrace Yourself. My name is Kim and I'm a movement specialist passionate about joy, health, and happiness. I want each of us to discover our healthiest, happiest selves, but to do that, we have to get up and move. Today, I'd like to demonstrate goal posts, which we will first do against a wall, and then again, we'll do it on a foam roller. This way you can see that you can incorporate this movement into your daily routine at any time because all of us have access to a wall, but maybe not all of us have access to a foam roller. To begin, the exercise is goal post. So I place my hands at a 90, 90 degree angle. Now against the wall, there are a few important tips. One, I need to have my head flush against the wall so that my chin is tucked and I've got a nice long neck that's in neutral. From there, my shoulders, my spine, and my hips wanna be against the wall as well. Now, the challenge here is because so many of us are rounded over computers these days, we find that we're very tight in our pectoral and anterior delt sling. So this is an excellent exercise for all of us because let's face it, we're all sitting too much these days. So I bring my arms against the wall, keeping my chin tucked and really focusing on engaging my abs and lengthening my spine against the wall. So let me tell you a few places where we'll find relative mobility. I can jut my neck, which will allow me to bring my arm further back. I can also arch into my low back, but notice how that makes my rib cage flare. I wanna focus on keeping my ribs flush, flush with the hip joint, and that allows me to lengthen my spine. This is critically important because any of us can do any exercise poorly. It's about doing things well and focusing on opening and releasing any fascial restrictions. So right here, I'd hold in this goal post and ideally we're going to hold for about 90 seconds. Now this is again where you could set a timer or focus on meditation. While we're sitting in this position and I'm really focusing on lengthening my chin, hollowing my belly and engaging my core, I've had a few people ask, why are you so obsessed with joy, health and happiness? Well, when I was 20, I was involved in a skiing accident and I shattered my tibial plateau. It's basically a knee joint bone. I had to have a cadaver bone put in and I had to wait three months non-weight bearing on crutches. In winter, it was horrible. I'm trapped inside, I can't move. And let me tell you, you have to find your own inner joy and happiness. It certainly made me appreciate movement and being able to walk. And I carried that forward because I was a fitness instructor at the time. And it was such a wonderful learning opportunity for me and very humbling because I had to learn to ask for help. So I think it's really important to share joy and health and happiness around the world because there are so many sad people out there. And I feel like if we just get up and move, it's gonna make a difference. So right here, I'm hoping that with this stretch, you feel your chest expanding and opening. You feel like you're lengthening in that spine and it just allows you to breathe a little bit deeper and more clearly. So that's the variation on the wall. And now we'll go ahead and we're going to practice it on a foam roller. All right, so here's the goalpost exercise on the foam roller. Now, in order to do this, you will need a full-sized foam roller because I need to support my head and my hips. What I'd like you to do is move to the front of your roller and then go ahead and lengthen all the way down so that your head is supported on the roller. From here, I want to focus on a couple of areas that we want to make sure our form is beautiful. I want my head neutral. So in other words, I want to make sure I'm not jutting my chin and putting a lot of compression on those cervical discs. Rather, I want to lengthen the head and keep the chin slightly tucked, which allows my upper spine to start to lengthen. In addition, many people will arch that back. And right now you can see I can get my hands all the way underneath the foam roller. Instead, I want to focus on cinching my rib cage, cinching my core. Again, thinking about all those slings and I lengthen the spine down. So maybe there's a space for a couple of little bugs to crawl around, but not a huge curve. That's very important when doing this exercise because now I bring my arms to goalpost and slowly allow them to drop back towards the floor. What happens here, if people are really mobile in their pecs and their 
uh, and their delts, they have no problem touching the arms all the way to the floor and still keeping everything flush and in good form. You'll notice I'm a little bit tight right here, which tells me I have an area of opportunity to improve movement. I love that, that's so exciting. So. Don't judge yourself for where you are in the stretch today, but instead just breathe into it. And notice that over time, you absolutely will start to feel more open and pretty soon those arms will be touching on the floor. I do so much lifting, I need to focus more on this stretch, I can tell you that for sure. Now, in addition, as you're laying here, I want you to feel how easy it is to breathe. You're really able to open up those lungs. Take some nice deep breaths. And as you exhale out, just let go of any tension. I've started this out with easy, simple movements. And I love that I don't have to get dressed up in fitness clothes to do this exercise. I can just hop on a foam roller or stand against a wall. The whole purpose of this is instead of looking at new year, new you, I'd love if people would say new year, embrace you. Embrace yourself right as you are in this moment and don't have any judgment or shame in what you're able to or not to do. So the big thing for me here is I love the idea that I can just do a little bit every single day, which will move the needle to help me be a happier, healthier version of myself. And that ultimately is my goal in this entire series. So I hope this has helped you and you're feeling good as you lay. Always feel free to set a timer or meditate for those 90 seconds. And again, if you only have 30 seconds, that's fine too. It's just the longer we can relax and stretch into that tissue, the better it's gonna be in the long term. Thanks so much for joining.